What's up, guys? This is Jago79 on Lethal Loves Black Women's channel. And uh, someone was asking me yesterday about a website uh, where more black people can meet each other and date and stuff like that. You know, the infiltrators are coming in and try to take over because they can't never let us have our own thing. They always got to come in there and ruin it. But uh, I'm going to read this article real quick from blacknews.com. Uh, it says, New African Center Dating Model Revolutionizes the matchmaking industry for black singles all right so let me get into this right now okay so apparently the name of the site is called fine black love it says fine black love gathers organizers model elder couples uh contributing singles and advisors from cities around the east coast to bring hope to millions of black singles seeking to discover black love and build more strong back uh, excuse me black families already from that statement right there i love this build more strong black families that's what it's all about ladies and gentlemen that's what my whole channel was about black love black unity and the black family model all right so let's get into this article right here you see these two people um raleigh north carolina fine black love a new african-centered event for black singles is shaking up the matchmaking industry and giving hope to by connecting hundreds of revolutionary black singles through dating activities centered on black and african culture at the full day event on saturday april 13 excuse me 2019 uh at the ezra conference center in raleigh north carolina we have decided to do something groundbreaking, says Fine Black Love co-organizer Nataki uh, Cambone, who is from the Washington, D.C. metro area. It has been time for a new paradigm in terms of how black love and relationships are approached, especially for those of us in the diaspora, for those of us that have that knowledge of self and want to see it reflected in those that we meet. It's been long overdue, says Camden. Uh, Cambone. Already, I'm, I feel like I have tears coming to my eyes because this is what I've been preaching about the whole time, ladies and gentlemen, and this is what I like to hear. I like to hear stuff like this. So let me uh, just scroll down a little bit. Hold on a second. Hold on one second now. Okay, so it says, Fine Black Love was conceived shortly after Cambon returned from attending the Sankofa journey in Ghana during the summer of 2018. She returned inspired about her culture but felt frustrated with dating events that either felt too serious or did not have potential partners that shared her values and beliefs. That's when Kanban set out to create a black love website. Black love, not interracial love, black people. Black love website, okay? I'm stressing that. That could help those seeking to pursue marriage. After convening with black singles and married elders around the country, Find Black Love's concept changed from a web-based platform to an in-person event. Pioneering in the matchmaking industry, the event is purposely gender-balanced, African-centered, and features activities that inspire cultural appreciation, self-love, and positive healing between black men and black women. I, 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 I'm going to take a page out of uh, Vicki Dillard's uh a book right now somebody talk black to me somebody talk black to me right now because i'm feeling this i'm feeling this and ladies and gentlemen if you're like me and you love black love and you love your black woman your black man then damn it you love this right now too this is a great idea Cambone is also the spokesperson for Let's Buy Black 365, a black economic empowerment movement. Following her example, the curators are pulling off the event with 100% black-owned companies. From the venue, hotel, caterers, security, printing, and professional services to the black-owned media, vendors, and sponsors. Finding a black-owned conference center big enough to accommodate an East Coast event this size was the hardest part. From there, it's been great to see how supportive the businesses have been to help us pull this all together, says Renee Moore, a co-organizer and native uh, North Carolinian. The, let me see. To encourage self-love before the event, the organizers are giving re registrants a self-improvement guide. It has activities which registrants can work on in the months leading up to the big day. The system of racism and white supremacy mounts a lot on us. And sometimes we take that tension out on each other. So true. So we are starting to so, so we are starting with healing, says Cambon. 
It was that healing that allowed Kanban's parents, her mother, an African-centered psychologist, and her father, an African history scholar, to maintain their 45-year marriage. But I thought that black people don't get married and stay together. Oh, I guess that shit blows, uh, blows over the water now. All those people lying about that. What they put at the heart of their relationship was the understanding that nothing was more important than their family. Black love and black liberation, says Kanban. I love this woman already. I don't know. Let me go back up for a second. I don't know if this is her. I don't know if this is her hair, but if that's her, I love her. I love her for doing this. I do. I really love it. All right, let me get back to the article. So far, registrants are coming from as far as North and New York and as far as South as, at, let me see, and as far South as Atlanta, Charleston, and Miami. The East Coast event is collectively created by 15 people from eight states and three countries, including black married elders, black singles, a psychologist and educator, a wedding officiant, community leaders and activists, and a relationship, and excuse me, and relationship experts. They got this shit down on lock. It is only through the development of strong families that we can begin to reestablish our place in the world as African people. Oh my God, somebody, somebody talk black to me. Sorry, Vicky. I'm sorry. I got to use it. our sovereignty, freedom, our liberation. To that end, love is a crucial component to the development of black families, says. Let me see if I can say this right. Ukandayo Iniolapo, an event contributor born and raised in Philadelphia, aiming to build long term monogamous black unions. Fine black love will feature a conference catered, a catered dinner, black love gala featuring all African attire and an after party. At the conference, black elder couples that collectively represent over 150 years of black love will offer their relationship wisdom to singles. That's beautiful. From their singles, will begin to develop connects that will extend beyond the day. We hope to create the kind of relationships that lead to black unions, that lead to black families, that lead to strong black communities. That is really the ultimate goal, says Cambone. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a woman after my own heart. This is the contact information here if you want to know it. I'm going to leave it there for a second. The site is called Find Real Black Love. Someone was just asking me, I think it was Nanya Business, and I think even uh, Sister Ajali, known as uh, the Radical Sister, was talking about how there was a, a site that's exclusively for um, black people. Hopefully this does not get infiltrated by white people. We need a site that is exclusively for us. That means that the people that are on this site will be exclusively looking for black people that look just like them. Black women looking for black men, black men looking for black women, not in between, not looking for Asian women, Asian men, not looking for white men, white women, exclusively for your own people. It's all about black love. If Crystal and Karen can have her beyond black and white bullshit website, then you best believe we should have a website for our own, you know, uh, purposes as well as getting along with each other, un being united, being a united front and celebrating the beautiful thing that is black love. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a wonderful story. I'm glad I could share it with you. I don't know if this is going to get a lot of views, but I hope the people that do watch this will share this video with people that have like-minded, you know, the like-minded mindset of black love like you and me have. This is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Salute to her. This is a wonderful idea, and this is exactly what we need, ladies and gentlemen. Strengthening the bonds between black men and black women, giving birth to more black children. Black love is the priority. As soon as we love each other and we get together and be united, we can take on anything as a team. Divided we stand, united we fall. I'll see you guys next time. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section. I'll talk to you there. Take care.